COVID, for all of the detrimental aspects that we've had to live through with COVID, it's really hastened the development of telehealth in medicine. The beauty of the ECHO model is that it's constructed to function in a virtual environment. So its inherent approach is ready to meet the needs and challenges of COVID-19. Providers are able to receive real-time mentorship for the patients that they're seeing. The whole goal of ECHO is to advance evidence-based practices in underserved areas. So if you live in a very rural part of South Carolina, you may not have the funds to go to a national meeting and hear the latest research. But here, we're actually able to disseminate the most recent evidence for people to improve their care of their patients. We were doing this long before the pandemic. What we've seen since COVID is a greater participation. The other thing is it has allowed us to educate our physicians about COVID in pregnancy. For instance, we had a whole series that we developed and did several small updates on COVID in pregnancy because we know COVID in pregnancy is much more detrimental. So what we want to do through this is just to make sure that we're able to update our providers so that they are really in the know with the latest and greatest information. Our project ECHO for Opioid Use Disorders launched in 2018. In response to the opioid crisis, you know, the opioid crisis was declared a public health emergency in 2017 related to the rise in opioid overdose deaths. So through the ECHOs, people have the opportunity to bring a difficult case and maybe they're not quite sure what to do or maybe they had a case that didn't go well and they'd like to learn from it. So they have the opportunity to have it, the case discussed and recommendations are made. All of this is done de-identified. And there's also the lecture series that's on the, a number of topics that are relevant to uh, our practitioners in the field. I think mentoring is very important. So you, not only for career advancement, but also for advice and you know, growth in patient care and you know, just career management, practice management, I think it's in invaluable. With the advent of this kind of telementoring project, over time, what we hope to do is see South Carolina go from the bottom with the highest maternal mortality rate to inch our way up uh, through the years to improve that. We have providers who are sometimes out there and they're like maybe the sole practice or folks working in federally qualified health centers and it, it's a very fast paced, high paced and just let alone, you know, helping to provide some camaraderie to help decrease provider burnout, especially during the pandemic. So being able to get on something that is just quick and brief and straight to the point to address the needs that providers are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis is incredibly beneficial to providers. And we know that there's vast health disparities across our state. So if we create echoes that are based on the healthcare needs of our communities, we can improve lives and we can improve our state's healthcare outcomes.